Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have it. Playing Madden 20. We are. The Slick Richards. Mmm, daddy oils. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> As always, playing like offense that. only, simming that D. Mm. Balanced playbook, all Madden arcade mode. What you got? What, what do you mean, what do I got? I don't know. Asking you where your head's at. I want you to give me a ballpark. I already know you're going to give me a hard time with this. Oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> I want like... you to give me a ballpark. How many texts do you send a day? Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. Um... <laughs> Is it in the hundreds? <laughs> Definitely. Wow. Uh, you text me four times in the last conversation. I mean, every single multi text you send to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, it's, I wish I could look at my phone bill, but I use Snapchat a lot. So, like, I don't have all of it. Plus, I'm in, like, group chats, too. Yeah, so how? Uh, yeah, I'd say pro I probably, I probably upwards of 100 messages. Bull crap, man. Don't you give me that bull crap. That is a lie. What? It is not in the it is hot in the hundreds. <laughs> With an S? In the hundreds. A day? Not in the hundreds. It's no, in it's the like hundreds. A hundred. It's like a hundred or so. Bull cr I call so much crap. So much <laughs> wow. crap. You're, so you're much waiting crap. waiting for me. To, how many do you think you I send You send at least 250 text messages a day. At least. Easy. Some days I don't. Easy. Lately. Some days I don't. <laughs> Dude, lately, I've been sending lots of texts. Uh, easy 250 for you. Get, ooh. Lately, it's been, I mean. Ooh, don't give me the lately. I'm a texture, dude. <laughs> don't give me the lately. I. Lately, it's been a lot. Lately, uh, it's been even more than normal, so I probably have been pushing two to three hundred. Uh, I know it. I, you ain't got to tell me. I just don't want you lying to everybody else. Oh, no, dude, but like pre-summer, before the summer, I was probably under a hundred. You can lie to them, but you can't lie under, to me. Before July, under a hundred a day. I could buy that. Since, I, I, since I broke up with my last girlfriend. I'm, I'm going to say is like... Uh, I, I, I kind of pride myself on being able to go an entire day without sending a text. Really? We really are like the yin and yang. We I go an entire day. Absolutely. I can go. I've gone entire days this week without sending a yeah, single you text. you know what, man? I'm like an extrovert. I need. I sit in my room all day and work. I have no one to talk to. If we talk all the, the IMs I send at work all day. F, dude. I'm sending messages like... I might as well. you, you're, so you are constantly in contact <laughs> with people. <laughs> but it's all like, hey, it's all work-based. I'm not like having conversations. And with you're folks. texting throughout the day as yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Dude, text messages are my jam. <laughs> I mean, you got to fit these 300 texts in somewhere. So it's not like you're sitting in there not having that. Uh, that I mean, it, it, look, honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to put down whatever you, you uh, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are but it is yang. so foreign for me. We are definitely in and yang. Because I get a text message and it honestly it gives me a certain degree of anxiety. And it makes me happy. When I, I get a text message, I'm like, ugh, <laughs> what do you want? How many text messages do I have on my phone right now? I have four text messages and a Snapchat, which probably has a couple. You are the only person that is texting me all day. Am I? Yeah. And it and was that was only because we have set up we have boundaries <laughs> set up where I can't come and knock on your door and ask you what you want to do. I have to send you text messages. I didn't. I you didn't set that precedent early. I didn't set the precedence that I was going to be a, an introvert in my no, room. No, when you were like, oh, if yeah. I'm in my room, why can't you just send me a text message? And I was like, yeah, that's what you said. It wasn't. There wasn't. Yeah. There was and that is weird too. I know it's weird, and I apologize for it being weird. I, but you know what? As soon as you did it, I was like, that makes it easier for me. I can just sit here and send you a message. And if you get it, you get it. If you and, but there has been at least enough to count on both hands, maybe feet, where I've been like. 
hey, you want to record? Hey, you want? And then you're like, sorry, dude, I didn't see your message four days later. That is definitely. <laughs> you're like, oh, dude, you sent me this message? I was like, yeah, we totally happened. could have recorded. And I'm like, I could have knocked on your door, but I'm not allowed. That definitely happened. <laughs> yeah, it's happened numerous. I mean, over a few no, years. No, I don't. It's happened at least 10 times. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Over, over a couple of years. Yeah. I mean, but as much as it hasn't happened, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, we got a schedule now. Yeah, it's maybe like, I'd say like. Five percent of the time, that so, I tried to get you to record. You haven't been able to. So my my thing is, is that I don't know. Uh, like I said, it, it kind of goes back to that whole being a kid thing and just having my own room. And I was an only child. And yeah, I just kind of yeah, like, and I don't know. I just kind of got comfortable with with being Dolo a little bit. I feel you, man. I, I don't then, judge you at all for that. And then when you know. When you invite people into your life and then they stab you in the back, you're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, I feel you. Okay, I better, I better get used to this, this whole solo thing. Cause you know what I, you know what a, I read about the other day? That's called, that's called that? ultimate independence. Ultimate independence. Oh, see, that's just glorifying it, dude. And really, it's, I feel like it's not the best thing to feel. Well, no, but it's not necessarily a good thing. It's a thing that's like. That it's like uh, it's like you 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 ultimately depend on yourself so much that like you almost shun away other relationships. Yes. Like so it's not. Yes. A good it's like it's like it's like because the the, ulti- the whole point of it is like you grow and learn in relationships, whether it's a girlfriend boyfriend, friendships, partnerships, acquaintances. You grow from that. But if you're yeah. so independent that you shun everyone away, you're you're stunting your own growth. You know, it, it, it reminds me of like we're not going to turn this into TNT no, Dynamite no. Psychology no, no, Hour. No, not but, about you, but like I'm just talking but, about in general people. But it, it, it reminds me of like uh, I've always had an issue with borrowing money, owing money, and I kind of train my mind to at one point where it's like if I want something, I will say for it, I will get it. I am not going to ask anybody. Right. I was without a vehicle for a year and a half. And it sat in the shop because I refused to ask anybody for money to help me fix my vehicle. I took a bus, a train, and another bus for a year and a half to work. Work 12 hours, take a bus, a train, and another bus back home. And I would do. I would work 12-hour shifts. Sleep. And no one probably even knew that your car was in the shop. And nobody knew. And because it was like, why do I have to tell anybody? Right. I got this. I got this. So I, mean, I got this. you willing to share everything, and you're like, I'm just going to handle it. Yeah. It's like, hey, you need to, you need to find a place to live. I got that. Not an issue. <laughs> Let's yeah. get it done. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I like we are the reasons for the things that happen in our life. Oh my god, I'm gonna start getting into stoicism. <laughs> we are, but we are the reason for the things that happen in our lives, and not other people. So Absolutely. I don't. I try not to project those issues on other people. I don't even talk but, about but any issues. The, but here's the mindset on that. that What's where, that? Where it, it it's a little. It's a little hypocritic. Hypocritic? Yeah, like, like hypocrisy. Hypo- hypocritical. hypocritical. Because because you would be willing to help out a friend if they were in need. hundred percent. But you will not ask anyone for their help or even p- tell someone that you may be in a situation so they could offer the same help to you. Yes. So that's hypocritical because you, if like I came, to, if I just was talking and I was like, man, I can't get my car out of the shop. Just not even asking you for money. I would 100% like, give hey, you dude, the money. You need money to get your car Without out? Without even a shadow of a doubt. And I know that, and I would do the same thing, but you won't even put it in the air to let someone do the same to you. No. No. So it's kind of hypocritical, in a way. And see, and the way I justify that is that I don't see it as hypocritical, but I see it as not expecting the same, uh, for everybody to think the same way that I do. Oh, right, absolutely. So I can't put my own, uh, my own set of boundaries and philosophies on other people right. because I realize that but other people are individuals. I spoke it into the air doesn't mean I even wanted you to offer to help me. You know what I mean? Just because I'm like, Is I'm just it? like sharing something about my life. Like, I'm not like, I don't want you to fix it. That's like when they say, like, when you're talking to like your girlfriend, they don't want you to offer a solution to their problem. They want you to be like, that sucks. So it's yeah, like but I. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I feel you. But like, I hate that, yo. You present me with a problem, yo. Let's fix that. That's how I feel too. But, like, <laughs> but that's kind of how sometimes people just say things because they want someone to be like, "Yeah, dude, that sucks." They don't want your help. They just oh. want you to be like relatable to it. I mean, honestly, that is kind of an enlightening to somebody <laughs> with my brainwave. I've never honestly thought about it like that. <laughs> 
I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But I do not feel oh, that yeah, you way. Don't need that. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel the Some necessary people do, to do it. You know, it's like it's like yeah. It's, but I get it. I get your side of it too. Like I don't like asking people for help either. I hate it. But I, but I am someone who would be like, oh man, guess what? I took my car to the shop and it's six thousand dollars to get fixed. That's it sucks. Jonas, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've probably lent out more than upwards around ten G's in my entire life. Yeah. Oh, I feel you. I definitely have. I've gotten the majority of it back when i have extra no. money i am very generous with the money i have it's like but when i have things that i need to like the last couple of years i've been trying to pay off something that i need to pay off that i need to pay off i'll just leave it at that and i've been very frugal with my money well now that's taken care of so now i will have more money i'd be more apt to oh use. no that was that wasn't a flex jones i'm talking about no, over the no, no, over no. like 20, 30 years. No, no, but I also in the past when I've flex. had extra money that I didn't need, I'm more than happy to lend it out to people. Yeah, for, so they can. Yeah. And I don't, if, and I always am the type of person that, like, yeah, we make an agreement here and give it back, but I don't expect it to come back ever. No, I expect it. I mean, <laughs> I expect it. No, I ain't playing that. <laughs> I, I get mad. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Yeah, I expect my money back, motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't balling like that. If I loan you a hundred, if I loan you a G, you better get that back. I need that. All right, I got it. I can help, <laughs> but I need that back. But yeah, man. I uh, but no, I get, I get it, dude. It's- I don't know, man. It's it's weird because no, like, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. That whole people just want to hear that sucks. I I understand that, and I feel like. I can accommodate that. Yeah. I feel like if if you say something that you feel like you want a solution to it. But yeah, sometimes that's I am too, because you're a problem solver. But sometimes people just want people to hear the inner machinations of their and own just mind. relate. It's like people who are depressed, like sometimes just need someone else to be like, Man, I get what it's like to be lonely. And they're like, I'm not the only person who's effing lonely. You know what I mean? Or I get what it's like to be sad. And they're like, Oh my god, someone else is sad too. It's like you feel so isolated and like alone and like with your thought process that you just someone else saying that they feel it too. You're like, oh, I get it. <laughs> Lonely is a strange term. Lonely? Yeah. yeah, it is, right? I don't really get lonely. <laughs> and not to say that I don't get lonely, but I don't get lonely. You know? You don't get being lonely? Yeah, yeah I don't but, really get it. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't know, man. I get it. I get it because I'm you, you, but you're completely fine being isolated by yourself. I am. Where other people are not. Like so, someone like me, who craves human interaction, if I don't have any, I get lonely. Are you are you lonely? Not anymore. You want me to, you want me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't feel that voice. <laughs> Meanwhile, while you're in your room, I'm in my room crying. <laughs> Why doesn't he talk to me? He just wants some human interaction, and he's in the <laughs> He's talking to his online friends, and he won't talk to me. <laughs> I don't even talk to them. I know, but uh, no, I, mean, I don't even know how the hell we got on this tangent. No, nah, I don't know, dude. I forgot what I was supposed. I was you asking did. about your texting addiction. Oh yeah, but you did give me a disclosure before you before we became roommates. You were yeah. like, listen, man, I've had people in the past be like. Why don't you hang out? Will you have a problem with me? And I was like, nah, do you pay your bills? I don't care. Do whatever you do. I'll leave you be. And, yeah. and I was cool with that. Like, I'm like, that's great. Yeah. 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 But I feel like that disclaimer, like, was perfect. Because, like, it set, like, what you want. And I'm like, that's fine, dude. You do you. <laughs> I'm good. I can't, I'm great on that. Yo, I, I, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm going to change at this at this stage. And I don't know. Completely but like, I'm I working like on it though. I'm to set with anyone that you're gonna share a living space with because there was a lady I used to work with, and she used to um, rent out a room, like to people who needed it for a couple months or six months or a year, whatever. And she'd be like, sometimes I'd have to sit these people down and be like, look, I'm not your best friend. I'm not here to be your best friend. Like, you share a living space with me. We respect each other. I'll be supportive mm-hmm. of you, but don't come to me looking for entertainment. Mm-hmm. And she's like, sometimes they get offended. And I'd be like, sorry, you can move out. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be your person. And I get it. I get it. A thousand percent. I'm like, yeah, and I've had roommates that we hung out all the time and did stuff together and did all sorts of stuff. I've had roommates that, like, I never hang out with and never do whatever. You know, it's, I don't care. I'm, I'm, 
easy either way. Well, trust me, uh, Jonas, you are definitely a friend, oh, awesome. whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah. God, we spent how many hours a week doing this? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. God, that's plenty of time talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And we have like real moments like this. Yeah, right? You're like, oh, my God. I've never is, this on, is, is this on a Friday? No. This will be a Monday. Monday morning This is a Monday dude. morning one? Yeah, this will be a Monday morning there. Oh, hell yeah, Fresh dude. Fresh way to start the week for yeah, all there you people go. who watch. We just got real. Hey, we used to be we used to be two people who watch. Now we're like seven people. <laughs> <laughs> That's exponentially plenty. growing. That's before plenty. you know it, there'll be twelve people watch each one. That's plenty, dude. If we had double digit views on every video, yeah, I would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that don't make me happy, Jonas. <laughs> it's better than zero. We had zero views I forever. Know. Dude. I just don't, I don't I don't know. It doesn't hit the same uh, neural receptors. You told me for when me. we had five hundred subs, you'd be excited. I, yeah, I am. I'm excited enough where I put music on all of our <laughs> our freaking duck videos. <laughs> I, like, I like your excitement. I put. Uh, I wrote a whole list of topics for yeah, our recording. Yeah, getting... This is excitement for me. <laughs> all right? I don't know what you were expecting. We're, well, see, our, even like our excitement is shown the yin and yang. Like, I'm like, you're like, I wrote down some stuff. <laughs> One man's two is another man's ten. You you are con- your your two is my ten. One hundred percent. It really is. One hundred percent. You've ever said. <laughs> what, is, what is my ten? Your hundred. Your ten. I, I, I can't. Like, I, I can't don't, even do it. Yeah. 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 Uh, and no matter yeah. what, you're like Oprah could come to the door and tell me Professor loved me and I wouldn't hit your. I'd be like, whoa, that's cool. Like, that's great, Oprah. <laughs> I'd be like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this is great. Oprah, I love you too. I get a letter that says I won five dollars, and I'm like, "Woo!" <laughs> you do. You get excited about like what you're gonna cook, and like, <laughs> like, dude, I can't wait to make these hot dogs. <laughs> you have never said that about hot dogs. No, I haven't. But that's, that's like, it's like you're like, I'm gonna make some tapakio and what do you call oh, it? Picadillo. Picadillo. Oh, this is gonna be so good. That's on the fridge. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it later. It's gonna be great. I don't even know what a picadillo Put it on is. Some tostadas, dude, with some. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Holy jeez. See, and I, 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 I just, I don't know. I don't have the emotion in me. But the funny part is, I don't get like sad emotions like that most of the time. That's good. It's all about. It's all the positivities. Yeah, I, I make it a point not to be negative. Oh, really, me too, dude. Yeah, for sure. There's nothing to be negative about. As far as uh, I was just playing uh, massive. No, I was playing. Uh, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. And there's a character in that game who is, like, very religious to the religion of, like, that universe or whatever. Right, right, right. The Christianity of that universe. Yeah, and, like, one of your side quests is to take him to somebody's uh, house so he can, like, uh, hear a different take on the religion. Oh, okay. And he thinks that it may be a way to, like, integrate it into it and try to, like, reach more people or whatever. Very, very weird stuff. Um, yeah. And then we get to the place, and he has like this moment where he's like, "I've been fighting for so long," and he's like, "But everything is already perfect in the world." He's like, uh, "It was just like this beautiful moment in this game. It actually like made me clap." In my <laughs> room. Like, I was like, "Oh my god, this man is speaking the truth," and it's like he just got this inner peace and serenity from understanding that he had no control over anything. And that just accepting the world as it is because it's already perfect. And it was just no, a beautiful. It, it was a perfectly perfect. However you want to say it, man. But it was a beautiful moment in the game, and I, it just like it was just like mirrored some of my own feelings to the point where I was like, "This is a good game. <laughs> this is a good game." That's awesome. Good man. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please Monday. make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Share it with all of your friends because they all love you. Aw. And for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are uh, out. Out.